All right, nerds! Hiya! My name is Nikki, and this is Geeks Under Grace plays Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. Um, fun fact, I was originally going to put this up to a vote between Wind Waker and Kingdom Hearts just because they both have a special place in my heart, but I was a little bit unclear as to when we officially announced the gaming channel, so that didn't end up happening. But I picked this game because, as I said, it has a very special place in my heart. Um, it was kind of the start of me playing video games for myself, and it was also kind of the start of me having a best friend, so... And I'll tell that story later. So, as you can see here, we have three lovely files. I actually should delete this one. Oopsie. Um, we have three lovely files from the first one you could have seen, from the first one you can see in a moment that I have beaten the game already. I beat it fairly recently, once I finally get my hands on that copy, and so, um, in theory, this means that I should be able to play the game again with relative ease. I'm definitely going to be doing it on normal mode because I'm not entirely confident of this. There is such thing as a less played curse. So, um, there's that. So I am somewhat competent at video games, or at least at this one. The second one is the adventure, <laughs> the adventure quest log. That's that's the thing you're gonna have to get used to. I like to mumble my words a lot because I speak English very well! Or so I like to tell myself before I go to sleep at night. Um, the adventure log is really cool just because it has a couple of different features that um, you encounter through your second playthrough. I know a couple of them and I'm sure that I'll remember some as we're playing, but one of them is that your sister Ariel, or I don't know her actual name, uh, Ariel's dress is a different, it's a different dress. Um, you don't get the hero's clothes, you actually keep the clothes that you start out with throughout the entire game, which is cool, because I kind of like that outfit. And uh, Zelda's theme is different when you finally meet her, like, halfway through the game, I want to say. And the coolest thing about this is that throughout the gameplay you encounter these kind of ancient beings that came from Hyrule, and they speak ancient Hylian, and in the original file, it's not translated, but in this file it is, so you get to actually see what they're saying. We're not going to play that file, because that's a heck of a lot of spoilers, so we're going to be playing this file. I will put my phone in my mouth right now and say that I plan on finishing this on this channel. Um, do not hold me to that. And that's another thing. If you hear noises upstairs, get used to it. I know I have. This is really, really long-winded, so I'm just gonna probably cut through it and be like, blah, blah, blah. Uh, people tell a story sometimes about this guy. Uh, a long time ago, there was a kingdom and a power. And it said something to do with the color gold. Da, 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 da. It, was a it was a pretty cool place, or so I hear. But oh no, here comes this guy. He's just like, I don't like this. I'm gonna be a hater being a hater, because that's what haters do, they be haters. And then he he took the golden thingamabob and oh no, darkness like everywhere. But then, but then, but then. This guy! This kid came out of nowhere and killed a man, and everything was great again. He used, he used this thingy to call a sword, and that's, that's what he used to kill him, and then poof! Bye bye darkness. Hello light. Oh, and he time traveled because Doctor Who. And he was known as a hero of time. So original. Uh, this story's been told for a really long time. People don't seem to get sick of it. Oh no, no! Cause that guy is back, that dude, the one that we didn't like. If everyone thought he was dead, but apparently he's not, because plot convenience. And oh no, he's doing the things again. People don't like it when you do the things. Pro tip, don't do the things. And then people thought that the kid would come back and be like, pew 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 because that's what the sound of the sword makes. But he didn't, because he stayed dead because plot convenience. 
so they're just like... Forget this. Guess we die now. Yep. It's sad. This is, this is me being sad for them. Where did the kingdom go? Where did it go? And no one remembers this place, but... Hey, there's this story and it's still here, so... And on an island in some place, it's people just, they dress up like this kid that killed a guy. Clothed in the green fields, they aspire to find heroic blades to cast down evil. Or something like that, I don't know. He was green, that's the point of the story, is that he was, he was dressed in green. And now it's like a tradition or something, I don't know. Oh my gosh, this game is pretty. I love this game. I love this game so much. It is the essence of my childhood, and you, you couldn't tell when I was reading the thing, but I just, I love this game so much. What are we doing now? And she's walking. Big brother! Yeah, here's the thing is that I like skimmed over that whole intro cutscene. Like, this is the fifth time I'm recording this first episode. I am not used to Let's Playing. It's my first go at it. Um, Big brother! I'm so good at voice acting. I know, you don't need to tell me. Uh, this is my first go at uh, Let's Plays, and I don't know how to do it, so. And sinking problems. And my equipment doesn't like me. And technology doesn't like me. I knew you'd be here! I can't hear anything right now. Excuse me for a moment. Be right back. Hi, I'm back. I knew you'd be here! <laughs> this is my favorite spot to gaze out at the sea. When I look out at the gulls, I call it Ariel's Lookout. I'm gonna call it Ariel because whatever. I can, I can do what I want. I'm an adult. I can eat cookies for dinner. You can't. So, do you remember what day it is today? You're still half asleep, aren't you? Did you forget? Big brother, it's your birthday! That's why Grandma has been waiting for you to come back to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. It's a good thing I came to find you. You should probably go home and see what Grandma wants, don't you think? No! Okay, I'm going. Oh gosh, I love this in HD. I loved it before, but I love it in HD as well. And there is a ridiculous amount of lag on my emulator, so that's gonna throw me off. But oh well, we're gonna deal. We're gonna deal. So, um, before I go to Grandma's, I'm gonna be doing a bunch of little extras on this island. Basically, I'm gonna be farming, farming for some rupees here, just because you're gonna need them a little later on in the game. And it's gonna be a pain in the butt to get them from the place that you end up getting them from. So, we're just gonna get them here. I hope I don't have sinking problems this time. That would be a bummer. So one of the things that you can do to get rupees is what I just did by jumping on those rocks. Super cool. And, and I'm saying this for the five people who are watching this who haven't actually played. Uh, another thing that you can do is you can get... There are three pigs on the island. You can sneak up to them, you can pick them up, and you can take them up a hill to a person who calls them cutekins. Do, do, do. So while I'm doing this, I might as well, I mean, I'm gonna have to talk to the lady eventually, but I might as well tell that story about uh, why I picked Wind Waker. Um, yay, it made it in, and now this is a thing. Uh, I, Wind Waker was like the first video game that I actually played and beat and tried to finish. Uh, and it is because, like, I've always liked video games, kind of, they've always been in my life. My first console, I guess technically you could say, was in the Nintendo 64. And growing up, it's just like, I grew up as a church kid, so 
And you know how it is. It's just like uh, when you're a kid, your friends are the children of your parents' friends. So my parents would always hang out with this one family, and uh, the two oldest girls in that family played Nintendo 64 like all the time. They played Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, and I always liked watching them because I've always liked the plots in uh, Legend of Zelda, even though uh, they are a bit repetitious. But you know, it's part of a formula. Anyway. So I would watch them play and it'd be a lot of fun. And then later on, the first console that I actually started playing games on was the GameCube. And by me playing games, I meant my brother Alex played games. Like this game. And he was not the best of these games. So at... what's it called? The Forbidden Forest or something like that. It's not the Forbidden Forest in this game, but I'm just gonna call it that for now. In the Forest Temple, which is like the second dungeon in the game, he rage quit, so I figured I'd give it a shot. So I stole the GameCube, I took it up to my room, and I started playing. But the thing is, is that the second dungeon, or I guess the first dungeon in this game, after the tutorial, which is this, uh, it's a Forsaken Fortress, and for those of you who have played this game, remember, the Forsaken Fortress, you can't actually battle any, any enemies, and it's mostly stealth. So, I will tell the rest of that story after I'm done talking to this lady. Why? Where did you find these pigs? Hey, why did you find these pigs and bring them here for little old me? Oh, thank you, thank you so much. I've been thinking about getting a pet pig for a while now. Oh, the boys will be so happy when they get home. Okay, Link, hold out your hand. This is your reward. Don't spend it all in one place. I know, quality voiceover work here, even though I'm talking to a wood can't <laughs> I can't talk. It's okay, I'm good. You got a red rupee, that's 20 rupees, what a pleasant surprise. And here's our gratitude for bringing us the Evie's new family members. You got a red rupee, it's 20 rupees, what a pleasant surprise. And finally, this is to congratulate you for working so hard on your birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you if it's your birthday. I feel like Hedigris. Oh, really, Ruby, it's way too cool. I suppose now I'll have to name these little oinking cuticans. And I'm gonna call my little brother that cuticans. Except that he's not cuticans, he's... 13 and smelly. Okay, so how are we doing? We're doing good on time. Anyway, finish off that story. What else can we do around here to get rupees? Um, oh yeah, there's a couple stash under that house. To finish up that story, uh, I get to the Forsaken Fortress and it's mostly stealth and I am not a stealth person. Um, you can forget PT and Slenderman and Five Nights at Freddy's because the Forsaken Fortress is what freaked me out as a child. So, I called upon, uh, the second oldest daughter of that family I was talking about earlier, the girls who always played Nintendo 64, and I asked her to help me get through the Forsaken Fortress so that I could play the rest of the game myself. Um, she played the level for me. She did not give the controller back. And ever since then, we have, a bleh, we have developed a tradition of playing games together and then, uh, what should we call it? Like, her playing them being the scale and me being the brains and stuff like that, so. It's a happy little tradition, it's carried on for quite some time. So that was, and you know, obviously you spend all that time together, you form a sort of relationship. So that's how I got my first finished video game and my best friend. Cool story, Nikki. Thanks, Nikki. Uh, let's talk to some of these people. No, there's gotta be another way to get rupees. I know that there's this dude who wants to talk to us as soon as we pass by his house, but oh, that's weird. He's not, there he is. So let's just do this right now. Not gonna read this because it's not interesting. It's a tutorial. Okie doke. We're not gonna talk to these people. We're gonna talk to Grandma! Grandma's been waiting for so long. Let's not keep her waiting anymore. Not only that, but I think that we're already over time. Yes, we are. So we're gonna talk to Grandma and then we're gonna call it quits. I've been waiting for you, Link. Link, try these on. 
time certainly flies. I can't believe you're already old enough to wear these clothes. You got the hero's clothes. They look like they might be a little worn for this weather. Okay, you ungrateful little brat. Those clothes are so cool. Don't look so disappointed, dear one. Just try them on. Today is a day to celebrate. It is the day that you became the same age as the young hero spoken of in all the legends. You only have to wear them for one day, so don't look so down. Be proud, child. Oh, that was so cute. In the olden days, this was the day that boys were finally considered to be men. They were taught the ways of the sword to prepare them for battle with their enemies. But we don't live in such an age any longer. Our ways are the ways of peace. Nowadays, I suppose Orca is the only one on the island who still knows anything about swordsplay. Hanging on the family shield, hanging the family shield on the wall as decoration is another tradition that has been carried down through those days. Does this all make sense to you? No, no, it doesn't. Can you please explain that all again? Is it that nice, Link? They suit you perfectly, a perfect fit. Well. Tonight I'm going to invite the whole town over for your birthday party, so I better start getting ready, shouldn't I? Your grandma is going to make your favorite suit tonight. Mm. I just know you're looking forward to it. Oh, she's adorable. I can't stay mad at you. Now, go get your sister Ariel. Okay, so we're going to call it quits for this episode. Thank you for sitting here and listening to my rambling. I look forward to being one of the Let's Players on the Geeks Under Grace channel. Um, I guess there's really nothing left to say. See you on Thursday. Until next time!